Okay, in the first video I did, we, we talked about our head position and how we didn't want to cant our head or put our ear to our shoulder. Now, in this one, the other thing that will make us so we don't see the dot is if we're, we're very slightly torquing the bow or, or twisting our wrist. It, it's more that you're twisting the wrist than actually you thinking, oh, I'm, I'm drastically torquing the bow because um, a red dot is so sensitive. So I'm not gonna draw back, but here I can see the dot and I'm, I'm straight. Now, if I were to just, just, just turn my hand a little, the dot wants to go off left or right. So I'm gonna over-exaggerate it here. It's this. And you can see as I do this, where does this arrow go back here? It starts moving and that's where the dot is. So if I'm twisting the bow here, you know, now the dot's moving off one way or I twist the other way. But, but these tiny little changes make a big difference and you have to develop that little bit of muscle memory. So you're looking at your target, head straight, drawing back and the dot just comes into our vision. Okay. Now with an arrow in the bow, I'm going to come to full draw and then we'll just talk about our hand position and the, the slight changing of our wrist, which is, it, it's even so much more slightly than like a major like torquing of the bow or anything, because obviously we don't want to torque the bow. So here our dot is totally centered, our anchor points up against our face, okay. So if we, this is. If we're twisting the bow a lot, or we just happen to have a bow that the, the uh, riser twists in our hand a little bit, this is where we're centering the dot here. And to no fault of your own, possibly, you just have a bow that wants to turn in your hand a little bit. So this is where we're centering it. We're not centering it back here or by tilting our head. Just ever so slight. It's just like finger pressure, you know, can make a difference. I, I want to take a minute and talk to you about adjusting our left and right or our windage. So our, because we've turned the scope 90 degrees left or right, depending if you're a right-hander or a left-hander, for a right-hander, we're, we're turning the knob clockwise to a, change our point of impact um, to the right. But right out of the gate, if you were shooting way left or right, we don't just want to start turning the windage like crazy. We shouldn't have to turn it more than 20 clicks in most um, instances. You have a different issue where your head is out of position or your hand or maybe your rest. But I just want to say, don't turn the windage a lot. And then, and then say, I've turned my windage all the way, full deflection one way, and it still doesn't move. So just FYI, don't touch the windage.